Hello Techies. In our previous tutorial, we have learned how to create a team by using create a team action which is available under Microsoft Teams. Now, in this session, we will learn how to add a member to an existing team by using add a member to a team action which is available in Microsoft Teams. Let's switch to Microsoft Teams. There we can see we are having three teams. One is Conteso, Onboarding Employees and Build Team. Now, if I want to add a team member for this team, how can I go ahead and add it by using Microsoft Teams over here? Now, for the particular team to add a member, I'm going to select the team. And there you can see over here, I'm having more options. And there I'm going to add a member. Just click on the add member. There you can see I got the pop-up in such a way, add members to the particular team that is build team. Now, to add a member to the particular team, what we are going to do, we are going to type a name or email ID. Now, I'm going to give a email ID over here for the particular member, that is patf at the rate of m365.onmicrosoft.com. Or you can see I can give the name over here and I'm going to select the name and then I'm going to click on add. Now it is trying to adding the member. Now the member has added successfully. Now how can we go ahead and see that? Now let me go for the more options over here once again. And there you can see over here, I can click on manage team to see the members over there. Now for the particular team that is build team, you can see over here members who is the owner of the particular team that is MOD administrator. And below that, you can see members and guests over here. That is, Patti Fernandez has been added as a member for the particular team. All right. Now, let me switch to the Power Automate desktop. To add a new member to a team, I'm going to use the action called Add a Member to a Team Action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. The main purpose of this action is to add a member to the team. All right, now as the first thing, we have to add the connection references. And then if you see over here, the parameters for the add a member. First parameter is the team. Now under this team, we'll get what are the teams available in our Microsoft Teams. Let's drop down that. There you can see I'm having three teams. One is Conteso, Build Team and Onboarding. Now I want to add a member for this team. So I'm going to select onboarding employees. And then for that onboarding employees, I'm going to add a member. There as a second parameter, I'm going to use a user principal name or Microsoft Enter ID to add to a team. I'm going to give the email ID over here, such as ishil at the rate of m365.onmicrosoft.com. And then if you go for the advanced parameters, there you can see should the newly added user be an owner of the member there if i want to be owner in that case i'm going to make it as true or if i don't want then i'm going to give it as false so now this member who are going to be adding it i want to just add as a member not as the owner in that case i'm going to give it as false and then the timeout i'm going to give it the default timeout over here as 60 seconds and then to add a new member, I'm going to click on save. Now I'm going to disable the action created team, which we have used in our previous tutorial. Now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started and it has been successfully added a member to a team named onboarding. Now, if you observe over here for this action, I don't have any output at the variable so that the flow variables is blank over here. Now, we'll see the output that a member has been added successfully or not to a team that is named onboarding in Microsoft Teams. Let me switch to Microsoft Teams. Now I'm under the Teams and there you can see I'm having onboarding employees. Let me go for the more options for the onboarding employees and then I'm going to click on Manage Team. There you can see I'm having owner as a MOD administrator and you can see over here members and guests over here, which we have added a shy longer for the particular team. And there you can see the role is member over here. All right. I hope 
you understand how to add a member to the particular team by using add a member to a team action as part of this tutorial.